Okay. So, um, sorry, my Zoom, like, for some reason messes up. And so I used to have, like, an hour time limit, and now I only have 30 minutes. So that's why I was like, don't be late. It's okay. Um, okay. So talking about promoting. So this is like the biggest thing because next week is conference. My hair, I'm sorry, it's like sticking up everywhere. Um, next week is conference and normally Saturday, or actually it will happen. Saturday at conference, they'll make an announcement uh, of the promotions that are happening for this month. Um, also anyone who promoted in January and then depending on sometimes they announce like if it'll be February through April or February through May or whatever. So you want to be ready. Um, I want you guys to be prepared and whenever you're promoting, you have to be extremely focused and you have to know what you're doing. And so that's why I wanted to do this zoom, um, for you guys. And I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. I'm pregnant and I just picked up my daughter's toys and you know how that goes. Bending over does not, it's not very easy when you have a huge stomach. Okay. Or baby in your belly, I guess. Okay. Um, trying to find my pen. <clears throat> okay. So, first of all, I want you to make a goal. Um, honestly, my hair. Everybody should start with Ruby. Executive is the first promotion technically, but um, normally the bonuses and promotions start with Ruby's. Um, and... I'm not 100% sure if they're doing anything for emeralds this month. So if you're um, already a ruby and you're pushing for emerald, maybe also get your diamond chart out just in case um, they're not doing anything for the emerald um, promotion. I mean, emerald is great. Like, that's still a really good income. I'm just talking about bonuses and promotions. Like, that's what I'm focusing on since conference is coming up next week. Um, so print your chart. You can go into eSuite and go to Documents and print your chart out. Um, then in eSuite, you can go to Organization Viewer and then, or I mean, Reports and then Tree Viewer, and that'll show everybody underneath you um, and their loyal customers. So, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm trying to find my pen, like I'm very unorganized right now. Um, so, how to calculate the volume, uh, because everybody on your chart has to have 400. Um, GV in order for you to promote. All of your boxes have to be full. Um, can't use any canceled accounts unless they're already over 400. Um, and let's see. Everybody that is promoting has to be commission qualified. So if you are using people, I would talk to them. If they don't have any personal volume, I would talk to them about running an auto shipment because that's less volume that you have to place. Um, and if they're promoting, they should be running an auto shipment because that's going to obviously guarantee them a paycheck as well. Um, but with last month's trying to get the four little customers, that'll help everybody's personal volume anyways. Um, so write everybody down and then you can go into eSuite and you can click tree viewer and then show loyal customers and you can calculate how much volume everybody will have once the, um, auto shipments run. Um, everything runs by the 25th, so, um, but obviously you want to have everything ahead of time because you want to try to promote as close to the 25th as possible. Um, so go into eSuite, Tree Viewer, show little customers. You can add it up. It'll tell you if they have an auto shipment running this month or if this month is their last month. Um, if you had somebody that ran last month and isn't running this month, that means they have perk points. So message everybody who, whose auto ships ended last month about perk points and see if you can get them to order something to help your volume. Um, that's a good way to boost your volume too. So also on your chart, once you get your volume figured out, how much volume you need and how many distributors, I want you to look at your chart and start from the bottom person um, and work your way up. So you'll start with the 400 boxes on the bottom of your chart. And um, sorry, I don't even have my binder, it's in my car. Um, so say you're Ruby. 
the two people on your bottom line, you need to message them and say, hey girl, just so you know, like you're only 50 VV or GV away from being at 400 this month. Let's get that volume, motivate them. Go to the next person, the executive. Tell the executive, they're only this much volume away from being executive this month. If you're going higher than Ruby, um, message your Ruby. You're only this far away from being Ruby and so on. Just start at the bottom and light the fire all the way up. And that helps so much with like getting everybody excited from the bottom up so that everybody is working to fill their volume. You have 400 boxes getting excited about being in the 400 club. You have executives pushing for executive Rubies for Ruby and so on. So that's a good way to get everybody involved and everybody working so you're not doing it all by yourself. Um, another thing is you want to, whenever you're promoting, you want to check in with your team daily. I know that everybody has busy lives and things going on, but you need to be keeping in con Bobby, I'm going to kill you. Freaking flipping me off. Jerk. Okay. Anyways, now I lost my train of freaking thought. Get him off my screen. Bobby. <laughs> okay. I forgot what I was saying. Um... I'm on a time limit here and you're freaking pissing me off. I'm turning your video off. Distracting me. Okay. Um, I forgot where I was at. Does anyone know what I was saying? Crap. I totally forgot. Okay. Oh, oh, let me unmute Sarah. She knows. Okay. So you were talking about going from the bottom up and getting everyone excited and talking to your team daily. Oh, okay. Yeah. Team daily. That's where I was at. Thank you. Okay, so checking in with your team daily, like you have to make sure that your team knows what they're doing. Um, something that I do whenever I'm promoting is I check my downline activity in my e-suite constantly. That way, whenever somebody is signing a loyal customer or distributor, I get with that person and make sure they know where to move it. And that way you don't have any mistakes and all volume is placed because every little bit of volume obviously counts when you're promoting. Um, so I just check my download activity as much as possible, message the person, hey girl, I saw you got a little customer, how exciting, just making sure that you were, that you know where you're moving it to for your promotion or something like that. Don't be like super pushy or be like, hey, make sure you move that under somebody. Just make sure they know what they're doing um, and just kind of like ask them because obviously we want them to learn too. Um, so <clears throat> talk to them about where they're moving their little customer or distributor. And then, um, let's see, promoting. Um, once somebody's at 400, I always highlight them off my chart so I know I don't have to worry about that person anymore. Um, I check my volume every other, every couple days on my chart to update it and make sure that, you know, any, if anything's changed, that way you know as soon as you sign a little customer or somebody signs a little customer, you know where to move it. Um, let's see. Also, whenever you're placing for volume, um, make sure that you're filling everybody that's close to 400 first and then move on to the next person. <clears throat> um, you just want to get whoever's closest, and that also helps with your loyal customers. If you have somebody that's 60 away from 400, obviously you'll move your first two hair, skin, nail loyal customers or whatever under that person, and then they're done. So you can mark off their name on your chart. Um, Let's see. And I'm, I'm talking super fast. Sorry. It's just like all coming off the top of my head. Um, another thing. So with conference coming up, everything gets crazy. It's just insane. Like how much can happen after conference, even if you're not there, like if you're watching it on TV, like I hope a lot of you will be watching it because it is like such a huge, like, it like lights a fire under you that you never even knew you had. And it's just insane. So um, make sure you're watching that. And then after, after they announce the promotion, like you obviously want to be working for everything right now. Um, you don't want to wait and see what they're offering because you know it's going to be amazing. It always is. Um, so start working towards those promotions and knowing where you're placing people. Um, as far as placing distributors, fill your boxes. Um, if you have somebody who is working and is really good at signing low customers, move your distributors under them first because they're going to be able to help you fill volume. Um, especially if they're a good low customer enroller, but not a good distributor enroller. Um, if you have somebody 
I like building new people with new people because they have that fire and they're all excited. So if you sign, you know, a new person and then a couple days later sign somebody else, move, put them together and pair them up. And then that way they can kind of feed off of each other's energy and help each other get their first little customers and all that stuff. Um, so that really helps to just put new people under them. And you know, not everybody's going to work that you sign. Obviously, if you've been in this business for a while, you know that. Um, so you can still fill them to 400 and use them as a 400 box. And then you can move on to somebody else next. Um, okay. Sorry. Um, what else? Charting. <clears throat> Does anyone have any questions about anything that I've said? Because I know I'm talking super fast. Just raise your hand or because you can't unmute yourself. <clears throat> I'll try to think of what else you need to know. Um, also, if you do not have four active low customers under you, you need to make sure that you do. They don't have to be new ones this month or anything, but you have to have four active low customers in your E-suite, and you have to be commission qualified in order to qualify for any bonuses. Um, <clears throat> your 400 boxes don't have to be commission qualified. They just have to have 400 GB. It's just the people who are promoting that have to be commission qualified. So if you have a dead leg and you're moving volume under them or somebody under them is getting volume, so they have enough GB, but they're not commission qualified, then don't worry about it because they don't have to be. Um, <clears throat> what else? I think the biggest thing is just like talking to your team and making sure that everybody stays motivated. Also working every day. Like last month, I was messaging here and there and like I was excited and whatnot, like I was ready for January, but I wasn't doing enough, I guess. Um, <clears throat> And then Cassie Montoya, or Westland, I guess now, she put in our VIP chat, like somebody said that she had signed 52 low customers, and it was like the 14th of the month, and she had already signed 52 low customers from messaging. And then by the end of the month, she signed 98 low customers. That's insane, that's in one month. Okay, so all she did was message. That's literally how she got every single low customer. And she got herself to presidential, she didn't have to place a single order. Everything was from loyal customer volume. Um, <clears throat> she practically probably did it a lot by herself because she signed 98 loyal customers. Um, so if she can sign 98, you can at least sign 10 or 20 or whatever your goal is. But all she did, literally that message that I shared with you guys that came from her and it helped me sign 25 loyal customers. I know Kate Hoover signed like 20 loyal customers with that message. So it's like, as if you're putting in the work and you're messaging these people, I stick to the script no matter what. I do not ever change it unless they ask me a direct question and then I answer that question and then continue to what I would say next after that. Um, I stick to that script completely. Um, you want to be careful about messaging, you know, too many people per hour because obviously I got blocked when it's been five days and I'm still blocked, but um, it sucks. So try not to get blocked. But um, <clears throat> send out messages. If you can even just send, like Courtney sent, I think today we had a work day and she had sent like eight messages and signed like six people were interested in ordering at some point this month. So this message is, it's wording is seriously everything. Like Brandy the other day was like, why is this message getting so much feedback compared to the other messages that I send? I'm like, wording is like everything. It really is. Um, People read that message and obviously they like it and it works, so keep using it. Um, and that's why I shared it with you guys because it's working for me. Oh, somebody said something in the chat. Right. Oh, well, um, I was meaning active distributors, unless you're talking about moving volume, Brandy, or calculating volume. But, um, Send out those messages, like I was trying to say, is even if you can just send like 25, 50 messages a day, you could, you know, what, like what I was trying to say, sorry, I'm like so freaking crap, like I'm on crack right now, it seems like. Um, Courtney yesterday messaged 25 people and signed five little customers. 
So if you can message 25 to 50 people a day, it doesn't have to be 100 people a day. Um, that's what I like to do just because I can and I have time to do it. Um, but you can always make time for things like that, like message, you know, 25 in the morning, 25 in the afternoon, and then 50 at night or whatever you have to do to make it work. But um, I just can't even, messaging is just the best. That's how she got all of her customers. Okay, sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. As long as your eSuite says you have four active little customers, then you're good. I know that, like, we had a VIP elite call with Mark today, and he was saying, like, getting back to the basics was their focus. I don't know if you guys um, have the It Works app, but, like, my little customers reset back to zero. So I think they're really wanting everybody to sign for a little customer, sign three distributors, you know, every single month because that's the basics of this business. Um, so that's why it is set to zero, but in your actual e-suite, not on the app, it'll tell you how many active low customers you have under you. And as long as you have four, then you're good. Um, last month they were saying everybody had to have four. And so I'm, I'm guessing, I don't really know how that works, but I'm just going to guess. No, I'm not even going to say that because they didn't say that, so I'm not going to make stuff up. Just make sure you have four active little customers, and um, I'm trying to think here. Um, I don't really know what else. Perk points are huge, like I said earlier. That's a good, a really good way to get volume. Staying on top of your credit card declines. You can go into your eSuite, um, click uh under downline orders under reports and go to um you can change the category to credit card declines and it will pull all of them up and you can go through and email those people and tell them hey just so you know your credit card declined there's scripts in the pages for it um and i'll post them in our chat too but you can send out messages for declines and a lot of people don't even know that their card declined or like it was a mistake and so they'll fix it for you um another thing with perk points is if you don't know how perk points work um if they have 12 perk points not 12 i'm not good at math if they have 15 perk points and they order hair skin nails they'll that's 15 more volume that you didn't have or you wouldn't have had um <clears throat> see do I leave anything out anybody or do you guys have questions you can add in the chat or whatever over here um, I thought I wasn't gonna have enough time but apparently I have plenty of time um, I don't know I really want you guys to message because it's just amazing I know somebody well, Morgan McIntyre, she's actually doing a Zoom with Jade, or Tina, um, right now. But when we had her on our Zoom, I've been talking to her and stuff, and she said that she, like, went through and messaged all of her potential distributors that she hasn't talked to in a really long time and sent them a message about being a little customer. You could actually probably send them um, – Yes, Katie, I'll put it in the chat. You could actually probably send them the message that I sent you guys to send out as a cold message. Um, she sent all of her potential distributors that she hadn't talked to in a while and messaged them that message. And she signed a lot of little customers by doing that because maybe they weren't interested in the business right now, but they were interested in being a little customer. And so that got them to sign up. And another thing about little customers is if you take care of your loyal customers and they like their products, a lot of times they will become distributors. Like my first 13 or 13 loyal customers, 11 of them turned into distributors because I took care of them and made sure they liked their products. And I think they had announced a promotion and they're like, okay, I like the product. And obviously this promotion is amazing. So I want to be a part of your team. And so that's just a good way. At least you're signing customers because you need volume anyways. So you might as well, you know, give it a try. And um, I wouldn't obviously send that to people who you just talked to about being a potential distributor. But if it's people that have been on the fence for a while or just haven't responded, you might try that. Um, 
I go through, I know some people were saying that they haven't had any more people to message, like they ran out of followers or whatever. So you can start back at the bottom and delete your message from before and send it again. It doesn't hurt. Like if it's been a month or two or something like that, maybe a couple months ago, it wasn't their time. So another thing with that, maybe go through all of your potential loyal customers and just send them a, if it's on Instagram, you can delete your messages before. So you could send them a cold message about being a product tester. Um, you can message everybody who likes your posts. Um, make sure that you're really putting thought into your posting um, about being a little customer or about signing up or, you know, make it a sense of urgency all the time. Like Courtney um, James shared in the chat today that she said she had one spot left for hair skin nails and she signed a little customer from it just because everybody's freaking out because they're one spot left. Um, so that's a good thing to do. Um, I remember whenever I was promoting to presidential, I went through my phone and literally said to people, because sometimes you just don't message people you're really close to because you're really nervous. I don't know. Like I'm more nervous about messaging people that I know than I'm people that I've never met before because I don't like being rejected. But, um, I just sent a simple message saying, Hey, I'm shooting for a huge promotion this month. Do you love me enough to order something? And I signed like 14 little customers in two days just from my friends that I had texted that I had never even texted before guys, girls, it didn't matter. Like if they were my friend, they got a message. Um, and I texted it to him, Hey, shooting for a big promotion. Do you love me enough to order something? That's all it took. <clears throat> um, let's see. And sometimes your friends love you enough to order a bunch of stuff. So that was a good thing too. Like a lot of my guy friends ordered like three different things. It was awesome. Um, let's see. Oh, a reminder, make sure, which I shared this script in the chat, but how I describe the 90 day challenge, make sure that you're explaining that to all of your customers, because if they call customer service, this just happened to somebody today. If they call customer service and say, I wasn't aware that I was being charged monthly and you didn't tell them and you don't have proof that you told them that $50 fee for them to cancel comes off of your paycheck. So you want to make sure that you're being very clear about how the 90 day challenge works, that they will be charged monthly. They'll get one product each month. Um, if you do have the proof, you can screenshot it and send it to compliance and it'll be cleared. But if you don't have the proof, then obviously you don't want to lose $50 um, for not being compliant or like not or misleading them, especially if you're the one placing the order and they're not reading the agreement if you're placing the order for them. So that script that I sent you guys that shares it, it tells it very like clearly it says you're getting one product a month, you're being charged monthly after three months, you can cancel. So if you're using that, that's fine. I'm just saying if you're using something else, make sure that it is um, covering all the bases. And, you know, it's not like that girl called to tattle on that girl for not being aware. She just said, I wasn't aware. And so compliance contacted the distributor and they're trying to get it sorted out. But that's just a heads up. Um, I think I went over everything. Um, if you guys have any questions or think of anything later, let me know. Just be very strategic with where you're placing. Make sure that you're not missing your 24 hour windows. I always try to um, move my little customers as soon as I can. That's why it's good to know ahead of time how much volume you need. Um, I would have your chart ready now if you can, like as much as possible, um, because you don't want to miss that 24 hour window and not be able to move that volume because you'll be kicking yourself. Um, okay, I think that's it. You guys can go get on the other Zoom now if you want to, and if you have any questions, just let me know. Bye.